Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML sports take. It's all brought to you by our good friends at Rosie's Corner Burn Dairy, CH Insurance, and Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company. Great, great thing tonight. Celebrating the Negro Leagues yet again at Rickwood Field between the Giants and the Cardinals. Little history on Rickwood. It's the oldest professional ballpark in the United States since 1910. They've been doing baseball, obviously the minors and the Negro Leagues and all the rest. A young teenage Willie Mays was playing for them. Uh, you know, holding down center field, 1948, of course, uh, it was the last Negro League World Series, the Birmingham Black Barons. He participated in that, and then he played two more years for uh, the Barons, uh, and then he obviously went on to the major leagues for the New York Giants and uh, had an unbelievable career with the New York Giants, San Francisco Giants, and of course, the New York Mets. Now, remember, Willie Mays, of course, it was supposed to be a celebration of the Negro Leagues and Willie Mays. But unfortunately, Willie Mays died just recently, and so they're going to have more of a remembrance instead of a celebration with him still alive, which they didn't plan on that. Uh, unfortunately, that did take place, uh, but they will uh, remember him nonetheless. They created an awesome logo uh, just not too long ago as well, so pretty cool stuff there. Now, the Negro League celebration thing that's been happening and has been gaining momentum the last couple of decades is awesome, but but it all took too long, right? I mean, all of it's taken too long. Hell, you go all the way back decades and Jackie Robinson in 1947, that took too long. Segregation should have been busted a long, long time before that. We should have seen the likes of Monty Irvin, Jackie Robinson, Mays, all these guys way, 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 way before uh, 1947. Oscar Charlson, Josh Gibson, John Lloyd, Satchel Page, Cool Papa Bell. You can go on and on and on with it. And look, Buck O'Neill should have gotten into the Hall of Fame and he dies and then he gets in right after. I mean, you can't fix that stuff. I mean, that, that stuff is etched in stone and it happened. You got to take care of people while they're here, man. And uh, that stuff is so frustrating. But as Bobby Kendrick would say from the Negro League Museum in Kansas City, it's an endless educational tour. It's an, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's an endless push. It's an endless uh, striving to get people to understand the Negro Leagues. And a lot of people are finally getting it. I mean, you know, there's there's caps and there's jerseys and there's shirts and people are wearing stuff all the time and they're reading more books and they are going to these games and learning about it. And then they're telling their kids about it and why it's important. If you're a baseball fan, you better know about the Negro Leagues. Uh, the statistics that got added in officially with the major leagues, yeah, it's nice. Should have happened a long time ago, but it did happen. So it's adding to all of it, right? Somewhere we have to meet in the middle, maybe between all of it. Yes, it all should have happened beforehand. The Negro Leagues deserve way more of their due a long time ago. Segregation should have busted, been busted way before it actually happened. And now we're celebrating it, but all the stuff going on like tonight, right, at Rickwood between the Giants and Cardinals, all of it should have happened beforehand, but we're celebrating it nonetheless. We got to keep it going, so we have to meet in the middle.